Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Today we have a little special video for you guys today. We have officially hit over 100 videos. We have made 100 videos for this channel. It's a lot of hard work I've put in here. And before the video even starts, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have shown my videos. Whether you guys are OG fans here or you guys are new to the channel, just want to say thank you. And here it is, the Bo Peep unboxing and comparison video. All right, here we go, right here. Got my crusty old reliable knife here. There we go. Here we go, we got another toy I've been waiting to get my hands on. Now, this is the Toy Story Signature Collection Bo Peep. And this is a Target exclusive, as you can see right there, only at Target. And this is from the Thinkway Toys Company. Now, a little interesting fact I found out about the company Thinkway and the Toy Story Toys is that the reason we don't see these signature collection toys in toy stores in anymore is because Thinkway, yet again, has lost the license to make Toy Story Toys. Hopefully, I'm thinking that they may get it back by the time Toy Story 5 rolls around. I would really love to uh, get them back in stores at their retail price because you, get, you try to get them on the internet, they are crazy expensive. Crazy expensive because for the most part, people are using like the signature collection buzzes and woodies to mod them as you know i i, I mean i've got my own uh modded woody up over there now unfortunately the box did suffer uh, a little bit of damage but looks like the toy is perfectly fine this just caved in a little bit now let's get to opening this because i want to compare it to the 1995 thinkways bo peep doll that they released for the first toy story movie well apparently i have this ongoing habit on youtube that i like to destroy boxes this sucks wow i, I completely obliterated this thing all right, finally we got the toy out of the box here. Take a look at this. Now, the attention to detail on everything here, oh, almost dropped, almost pushed that over, would have been bad, is amazing. Now, of course it's not 100% film accurate because, well, I mean, who would really want to porcelain one of these because this will just, that would just break easily here. I love the attention to detail on everything right here like the dress here definitely feels like she was pulled right out of toy story 4. now of course they updated her design her and both her and billy and goat and gruff's design here for toy story 4 as animation here improved within the movies and as you can see got the toy story 4 certificate of authenticity signed here by josh cooley the director of toy story 4. now this is actually really cool this definitive bo peep is a certified replica lovingly produced by thinkway toys using digital data from the fourth film of the beloved toy story series I hope you enjoyed as much as we enjoyed creating the character. Now, this right here was one of my favorite things about getting a signature collection toys is because they like gave you a certificate of their authenticity. Unfortunately, I lost all the ones to the ones I ever got, which sucks, but I currently have the one for the Toy Story signature collection aliens, and now I got this one right here, which I think is really cool. Another thing I would like to point out is that, honestly, she looks like she could be the porcelain doll. Love the size that they went with in the movie. Her legs right here are posable, right there. Got the same little corsets up here. Got lace, got lace, whatever. For, for the love of God, I can't, can't ever say what that is. It's lace material right here, crochet material right there, and some more laced material right here. Love the design here. I even love how you can even take off the hat if you wanted to. This right here, definitely one of my favorite signature collection toys. Love the new updated looks to Billy Goat and Gruff. Love how they're significantly more bigger than the ones that they originally gave out in the first version of the Thinkway toy. Now we will get to the comparison here. Okay, first we're gonna compare the dolls here. This is the 1995 Thinkway model that they released for the first Toy Story movie. And this is the 2019 model for Toy Story 4 that they released for the Toy Story Signature Collection line, also done by Thinkway. And obviously they have learned from their mistakes of the first doll. Not gonna say that this doll's awful or anything, but honestly, I like the signature collection one better. I mean, for starters here, her hat right there isn't right. For some reason, I, I I don't like it. Right there, you can literally see that she has her hair showing from the top right there. That is just perfect the way they, the hat lays out on her head. However, it just covers everything. And this honestly isn't the best. Not to mention the cane, the, the hurting stick right here. It, it's a darker shade of blue than, than that. 
And it also has this, but I guess this sort of foreshadowed a little bit of her Toy Story 4 stick where it had some kind of a string on it or something. I don't know, it's been a bit since I've seen uh, Toy Story 4, but I think when she had her new outfit, they kind of updated her herding stick because it broke at some point. But she comes with, with removable shoes and socks right here. In fact, I had to put the shoes and socks on myself whenever I got the doll new here new in the box. And another thing I like to point out, the size is completely off. The size of the dolls right here, completely off. I honestly prefer the 2019 doll better than the 1995 model that they released. Ah, man. I literally just dropped her and I haven't even had her for a full day. All right, finally, we're gonna be comparing the sheep. Obviously, this is a no-brainer that this model here wins because uh, the size is more properly accurate here. And I just overall prefer this design of the sheep over than that derpy design here. Honestly, this just, I don't know, this, this design's always looked creepy to me. I mean, yeah, I get it. They're all three-headed sheep here, but I don't know. I've always figured, I've always viewed this, I don't know. I've always viewed this toy right here, this model of the sheep, very creepy, even from the movies. They're just nightmare fuel. And plus the coloring on here is much more vibrant than that bland crap. So obviously I prefer this over that. All right, editing AB here. Another thing I wanted to point out here is that the head's got some articulation here on each of the heads here on the 1995 uh, sheet. Like, and I'm still blown away by the uh, size difference in the bland looking colors here and the derpy designs. The signature collection heads right here also have some articulation, which I think is pretty neat. Another thing I should point out is that this is like a hard plastic material while that is softer plastic. And I also wanted to point out the difference between Another difference between the Signature Collection doll, the Sheep, and the 1995 doll and Sheep. If you look closely at their faces, uh, she looks more porcelain. The Signature Collection looks more porcelain on the face, which is what I like about her. Uh, the 1995 one by Thinkway does not on the other hand. And that, the same applies for the Sheep. This was my unboxing of the new Signature Collection Bo Peep that I just got in the mail with her sheep, Billy Goat and Gruff, and also the comparison between her and the 1995 Thinkway model, the original model that they released when the first movie came out. And like I said, I, I just prefer this set over here over that set. I don't know, this was just superior and Thinkway obviously learned from their mistakes and made a much better product here. But that being said, this is also not bad for their first attempt. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy AB, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.